If we allow the word of Jesus to change us and witness to his truth, our joy will be complete. Friends, this is Sister Noemi Vinoya bringing to you today's reflection on the gospel from the gospel power. Looking up to heaven, Jesus prayed, Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost, except the one destined to be lost, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and I speak these things in the world, so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. The unbelieving world that rejected Jesus will also show its hostility to its followers, but they are to stand their ground and not retreat from it. As Jesus prepares for his passion, he prays for the protection of his disciples, for he is about to send them to continue the struggle against the empire of Satan and to conquer the unbelieving world for God. With Jesus' voluntary sacrifice of himself, in principle, the victory is already achieved. But the working out of this victory is the mission that is yet to be accomplished by the community of Christ's believers in every angle of the world and in every age. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of good health and peace that we have enjoyed for so many years. As we find ourselves in this time of crisis today, we ask for your divine intervention and mercy to be upon each of us. Come and guide the minds of those working to discover a treatment to the COVID-19 virus. Grant them wisdom, knowledge, and clarity of mind so that all peoples will be free from the threat of this ailment. We also pray for the healthcare workers that are standing in the front line of this battle. Father, we thank you for their hearts of service, putting the needs of society before their own, generously responding to the cry of your people. We ask that you will grant them strength and protection as they give of themselves in selfless service. May you fill them with your Holy Spirit, 
as they work to be your healing hands and feet. Father, we also surrender to you, all those who have been afflicted with the virus. Grant them your healing grace, merciful Father, so that they may recover swiftly and continue to be witnesses of your love in their lives. Mother Mary, we ask for your intercession in this great time of need. Cover each of us with your blue mantle of protection, so that we may be preserved in good health, to continue to glorify your Son, Jesus Christ. We make this prayer through Christ our Savior and Redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>